Hi YouTubers! In today's video we're going to talk about the common household dangers to pet birds. I'm going to go over just things that perhaps you would overlook especially as a new bird owner but even someone like myself who's owned birds for many years and just have looked over some things. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Okay, thanks. Here we go. So let's talk about Teflon. Teflon is cooking appliances that you have in your kitchen. If overheated and even self-cleaning ovens release a colorless, odorless, gaseous toxin and can cause death to a bird within 24 hours. So if you're cooking in your kitchen, try to get your bird out of there. And if for some reason you can't, open up your windows, uh, but just try to avoid having your bird in there altogether. Also keep in mind blow dryers, curling irons, um, certain pots, anything. Just look at the labels when purchasing them to see if there's any Teflon and don't use the self-cleaning oven. So let's talk about mirrors and windows. Even though you think that your bird might understand the concept of windows and mirrors, it is, it's always best I recommend to maybe just somewhat close your blinds is what I do with Rico or if you have big mirrors in the room when your birds are out, especially if they are full flighted birds and strong flyers just like Rico does. All it takes is for them to get startled, frightened, and their first instinct is to just fly somewhere to safety. And unfortunately that may be in the direction of a mirror or a window. So just to be safe, I always recommend either putting an object or pulling down some blinds if your bird is out and about, just to be safe. So let's talk about open windows and doors. I always recommend to just try to make it a habit and be mindful of having doors and windows open, especially again, if you have a full flighted bird. And even if you don't, just, I always say make it a habit, to try to pay attention to things so they're not open. Unfortunately, you may even, the, your bird might be on your shoulder, you may open the door. And I have heard many, cases where the bird have just flown out just because of that. So perhaps just make it a habit and be mindful of with open windows and doors. So let's talk about your bird's toys. Even your bird's toys could become hazardous. So you need to overlook the toys that you do give your pet bird. For example, I gave Rico the pet parrot that everybody sees in the videos and I had to actually remove the eyes because I know he has a tendency to pick out eyes and it could have been possible that he could have swallowed it or chewed on it. So just look at the toys, anything that they could possibly get their feet stuck in, remove, swallow, chew on, just to be safe. So let's talk about open water. What I mean is like open toilet seats, make sure you try to put them down, close them, or close the doors of the washroom just to be safe as well. Consider pots of boiling water. Just make sure there's always a lid. And also let's talk about pets in home and children. I always suggest that if you do, or if there's other even family members, always if your bird is out, have supervision when your bird is out of cage just to be safe. And I always recommend as well having your cage in a safe spot away from pets and children's just to be safe. So let's talk about temperature in house and drafts. Remember, if you're cold, it's too cold for your bird. Your, can, your bird can also become really ill just from the simplest little cold draft. So what I say is always avoid drafts altogether. Even avoiding the air condition too close is a good idea. Hot and cold air vents and radi radiators. I always feel the vents if like Rico is near it for some reason, close to them. Um, I don't ever have his cage directly under it, but I always, if he's in a room, I try to feel it, make sure there's not drafts wherever he's near there just to be safe. So let's talk about plants. Some plants are very dangerous and even deadly to pet birds. So what I suggest is there's so much information online that you can search, just find out which ones are safe to keep around your pet birds, especially again, if your birds are full flighted and you may miss something, they may go near it. So just be safe with the plants and do your re research before having any around. So let's talk about unhealthy foods. Some foods are extremely dangerous and they could quickly result in death. So things to avoid are avocados, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, garlic, 
and onions and coffee grounds. Again, if I've missed anything, just go online and there's so much information out there. Now let's talk about ceiling fans. If you have a ceiling fan in your house, you need to be especially careful when your pet bird is out. Again, if your pet bird is fully flighted, just like Rico, I make it a habit that either it's off or the door is closed or he's in his cage. So you just be mindful of the ceiling fans because unfortunately a lot of birds who have hit them have been injured or come to their death. So it's better to be safe, especially again if you have a full flighted bird. So let's talk about electrical cords. Try to keep electrical cords out of sight or away from birds. Rico doesn't really go to them, but if he's in a room where I do have a cord, what I'll do is I'll just unplug it to be safe, especially if I'm walking out of the room and he's not being supervised. Just better to be safe and avoid that altogether. So let's talk about outside safety. Bringing your bird outside for fresh air is very important for your bird's well-being, especially the natural sunlight. However, there's some things that you need to pay attention to when you bring your, your bird outside. For example, if it's too hot or cold for them, if they're left directly under the sunlight, that actually could cause them to have a heat stroke and could potentially die from that. So you do want to provide them with some shade or water or better yet, even have some supervision from being outside. Also, if you're bringing your bird outside, make sure they are on a well-secured safe harness or a secure cage. What I've done is I have went as far as using the tie wraps and to attach them on any openings like where the water bowls go in or even secure the bottom of the cage just in case you lift it and it snaps, just to be safe. As well, please be aware that even though your parrot's or pet bird's wings are clipped, they are still able to gain height with some wing, wind, especially if they do get startled or frightened. So I always suggest either having a secure harness on or a cage just to be safe. So let's talk about barbecues. If your bird is outside and you are grilling, make sure your bird is away from the grill or the smoke is not blowing in their direction. It's just not good for them. And also let's talk about predators. Depending on where you live, there could be predators around. That's why I always suggest not to leave your bird's cage unsupervised or in an open view, especially if you're not there. But if you can, just try to supervise your bird. So let's talk about common household products that can kill your pet birds. Just everyday things that you would use in your house could actually potentially kill your bird like chemicals, cigarettes, secondhand smoking, cigars, cooking fumes, hand sanitizer gels, air fresheners, um, carpet shampoos and fresheners, cleaning products, is certain paints you have to be careful for, hairsprays, even if you're washing your hair try not to have your bird around like the shampoos, varnishes, fireplace fumes, perfumes, nail polish remover, certain nail polishes, um, glues, old heaters, even prescription drugs that are in the plastic containers. Just make sure that they're shut properly because you know a lot of the birds like to play with the plastic containers and you don't want them getting a hold of your prescriptions at all. Also aluminum cooking foil, detergent, bleach, um, other pet products like sprays, flea collars, pesticides, certain lotions, even the Rub A535 like for pain, heavy metals, um, some paints, even on old bird cages, just check what's on there. There's The list goes on and on and on. Um, just to be safe, do your research. If you're not sure, you can always check online or you can even leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. But the best way to prepare for a new bird or even just know in advance is do your research and educate yourself about what household products are dangerous to your bird and what are safe. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.